sports entertainment redefined. This is 205 Live. Making his way to the ring from Chicago. Mustafa Ali, one of the most exciting superstars in all of the WWE. Former Chicago police officer turned WWE superstar. Calls himself the part of 205 Live, no doubt about that. One of the most exciting competitors in WWE today. Gulak's in the house. And from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak. At least he didn't bring that silly PowerPoint presentation with him. Byron, those PowerPoint presentations are highly educational. You could stand to learn a thing or two from Drew Gulak. Has he ever cornered you in the locker room area? Once. Yeah, he got me, too. Most miserable experience of my life. No doubt, though, that he can get it done in the ring. Drew Gulak will be doing all he can to keep his ring a no-fly zone. And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, oh, man. it's hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. Hey, Corey, I saw you spending some time with Drew Gulak earlier on today. Yeah, I had the pleasure of learning how Drew Gulak's going to win tonight through an informative 62-page PowerPoint presentation. Ugh, that sounds miserable. Running Hurricane Rana! Fantastic. Oh, I think this man means business. He got him good there. Clubbing blow to the back. He hits him with a nasty chop. Boy, that hit the mark. So painful. Executed perfectly. Offense like this is exactly how a competitor takes control of a match. Four. Five. He's taking some offense. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. Sure, he's taking some punishment here, but given how much he prefers to be on the outside of the ring, he can very well change the outlook of the match with one shot. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. Incredible! This has to be it! He's got the shoulders down. And he kicks out. Mustafa Ali still has some more high flying to do, apparently.
He's stumbling some now. He needs to find a way to get on the offensive, guys. Oh, man, his chances are dwindling quickly. He's just taking on so much punishment. Oh, boy, he is rolling. He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to find a way to regroup. This kind of offense he's known for. He's starting to feel it here. But he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment tonight. You don't step in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment here, right? I mean, it'd be crazy for him to think he was going to walk away from this match completely unscathed. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Drew Gulak, big move coming. The date of September 5th. Whoa, the Southern Lights suplex. You don't see that very often. Incredible. Setting up. Vertical suplex. Nice. Going back to Drew Gulak's plan for a better 205 Live. You gentlemen are focusing too much on the medium, not the message. Gulak demands we have no jumping off ropes, no fancy costumes, no crowd chants, because he knows needling his opponents about those things will give Gulak a psychological advantage. Well, a psychological advantage? I'm pretty sure Gulak is just psycho, period. And he's annoying, too. There it is! Hurricane Rana! We may very well be seeing the finisher here very shortly, guys. And when that happens, you can bet this one's going to be over. On, he dodges out of the way. Drew Gulak, big move coming. Really seems like Mustafa Ali is in a world of hurt. It's about as bad as... Wow, he got out of it. Yeah, I'm not so sure he had it fully locked in. I'm with Corey. I suspect the finisher is on the horizon, and given how impactful that move has been as of late, I'd say there's almost no coming back from it. You're right, Michael. It seems like that finisher has become more and more impactful with each passing week, if that's even possible. might go down as one of the best matches in WWE history. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. showing there and root to the win. Wow, when you pick up a pinball victory over somebody like that, you've done something right. And that'll do it here for this one-on-one -on -one match. I hope you enjoyed it as much as this live crowd appears to have enjoyed it. Lindsay Dorado 
was a master of the scratching post. Takes really great naps. A real force to be reckoned with. What are you trying to say, Corey? He's the golden lights, Byron. One of the most exciting superstars in all of WWE. He once trained with Cesaro and catches Ono. So he's not just a cruiserweight, Corey. He's a feline. Singles matches on deck here, and Byron, what should we expect to see here tonight? Well, given the shape these superstars appear to be in here tonight, I fully expect to see one of the most competitive matches we've seen in a very long time. And there's the bell, and here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. Man, what a move. Unbelievable power. Look at this. He's displaying classic offense here. One move after the other. It's devastating. So damaging. I think I just heard something snap. Lariat. He's on the defensive here. I fully expect him to push her down. down. No, a kick out. Gonna take a whole lot more. The weekly rankings are up, guys, and this superstar has to feel pretty darn good about them. Shining Wizard! That's right, Corey. That was a Shining Wizard. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Going for the stretch here. He goes for the cover. Looking to catch him off guard there, I guess. Nice kick out. A favorable ranking for sure for this superstar, as Byron was saying, but that shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone. It's been one great performance after another as of late, if you ask me. Yeah, it really has, Cole. And like Byron was saying, when you rank that high, you have to feel good about yourself. Now, let's see if that equates to another victory here tonight. Sit out, pile driver. Uh-oh, there's the elbow drop. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Zeroing in on the neck. Showing off some of his speed there. This guy can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. 
He's looking a little weary here. His hopes of winning this match appear to be dwindling in a hurry. This match certainly isn't trending in the right direction for him. He's going to need a change in momentum and fast. He hits the clothesline. On the flip side of what Byron was saying earlier, we've seen superstars relax a bit after being slotted high in the rankings. And that, of course, is the last thing you want to do in a situation like this. Well, I don't think we have to worry about that with this superstar, Cole. Some competitors are known for believing their own big move coming. Wait for it. Oh, boy, he is rolling. He's flagrantly breaking the rules. This could cause irreparable damage. Come on, ref. Got all of that one. Nicely executed. When this guy's on, look out. Looking for the super kick. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Just go for the finisher already. He's going for the pin. Too close for cover. He can't let that happen again. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Oh, here we go. Nicely executed. That should do it. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. There's the pin. It's over. It's all over. Hard to imagine, but that match was even better than advertised. Here's another look at that history-making encounter. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. Opening bell, this match was won for the ages. I'm almost speechless. Almost. Here is your winner, Buddy Murphy. The shoulders are down for three, and this one's in the book. I could watch them go at it each and every week. What a match. That's exactly why these competitors are main eventers. What an amazing match. I had a feeling we would start this way. He looks very focused and ready to make a point. Let's listen in as he addresses the WWE Universe. Not feeling the love for that superstar.
a fine line between being competent and being an egomaniac. Well, now we all know what lies in store for us. Man, you can't fake passion like that. Now that's how you promote a battle. Chad Gable, big opportunity here tonight. Making his way to the ring. From Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in. Where is this going? I think it's about to be a highlight reel. The WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Chad. Former Olympian, former NXT Tag Team Champion, SmackDown Live Tag Team Champion, one of the most... Oh, well, we had a feeling this could happen. Really working on the leg. Uh, very effective. This will surely be a true mano a mano test. It's amazing. Oh, For more than 50 years, many women have entered this ring all in the name of greatness to see who is truly the best. I think when it's all said and done, we'll be talking about this match for a long time. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. Oh, I think this man means business. He's displaying classic offense here. Knee stop! That'll ruin your leg. Gets him with a kick. Drop down. He's inflicting some serious pain here. He's looking banged up here, guys. And it looks like things are about to get even worse. Drop down. Nice. You gotta believe this one's over. No. no. Oh, oh. Chad Gable not looking himself. He's Seems got him early, and there's the kick out. Oh, I'm not surprised Gable kicked out there. That's what Olympians do. Oh, yeah, here's Hideo Itami. Look at Chad Gable here. A huge slam right there. This guy can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. Hideo Itami showing us how to get it done. What an amazing display of power. Hideo Itami is starting to take control of this match. the shoulders down that was all too easy for Chad Gable hey I guess you never know
He'll be feeling the effects of that for a while. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. A concentrated attack on the throat and neck area. Check out Chad Gable's offense. When this guy's on, look out. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Gable's looking to finish this. Whoa! Boot salt! You see that height? He's in control now. Gable's looking to finish this. Hideo Itami is being shown the ropes here tonight, folks. What time sent crashing back down? I'm not sure how much he has left. Yeah, you don't see a slam like that very often. Yes! Takes it! Let's take another look at these guys in action. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. I can watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. Here is your winner, Chad Gable. And that's the win to start off the night. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started.